consider gas guzzlers an endangered species. Soon, gas sippers like these will rule the road. By 2025, the federal government could require cars and light trucks to get 54.5 miles per gallon, more than double what the average vehicle currently gets. What we need really is for each one of the executives at each one of these companies to be saying, we can do it. I wanted to find out if the auto industry could deliver, and I found answers at the Washington Auto Show, where both GM it can be done. and Ford said, Yes, we can meet the fuel economy standard. By downsizing engines and making more of them run on electricity. Cars of the future will also be built from lighter weight aluminum and plastics. It's estimated the average family buying a car in 2025 would save more than $3,500 on gas over that car's lifetime. There's a reason why car makers aren't fighting the new fuel economy standard. The business is pushing us that way. Consumers are looking for it. Car manufacturers tell me there is a possible downside for us. More fuel efficiency could tack on several thousand dollars to the price of the average car. You can have all the vehicles, but if people can't afford to buy them, then you're not going to be able to sell them. The average fuel-efficient car here ran about 40000 bucks. The flip side, developing compliant cars could lead to more than 400,000 new jobs, according to one study. The new fuel economy standards are expected to be announced in July. In Washington, I'm Carol Hahn.